Hello, everybody, and welcome to your Mars and Venus collective reading. Oh, my goodness. I am going to tell you about this beautiful and magical astrology that is playing out for each and every one of us over the next three months and what that means to you. And this just, it runs so deep. I'm just going to focus on Mars and Venus and the moons, but also I want to point out that um, the nodes have switched into Taurus and Scorpio, which is significant, all right, because Venus is the ruler of Taurus, so we have a connection right there, but also Scorpio, the energy of Scorpio, eighth house is, you know, all about shared resources, deep, intense emotions, as well as major transformation. So look to your personal natal chart and see which houses are occupied by Taurus and Scorpio, because you're going to have a lot of change in that area of your life this year. Your focus is going to be there and that's going to go with you all year long. But this dance between Mars and Venus, along with these fabulous moons, including a, a solar eclipse and lunar eclipse is setting you up for so much. So we're going to go through the astrology and then I'm going to pull some cards. All right. Um, but first and foremost, uh, Venus and Mars are joining up and dancing with each other for three months, which is a rare occurrence. Venus has been retrograde and she has just gone direct in Capricorn on January 29th. Mars just entered Capricorn right before that. Okay. So they are together in Capricorn. Look to see which area of your natal chart is ruled by Capricorn because that's where you're going to feel the activation and the movement of Venus and Mars the most through the month of February because they are with each other all through February in Capricorn. And during that process, we're going to have a new moon in Aquarius as well as a new moon in Pisces. And these new moons are bringing, you know, new connections, new ideas, new offers, new opportunities, but they're also activating new energies inside of you from past lessons that you have been working on. All right. And then Mars and Venus move into Aquarius just minutes after each other on March 6th. And from there, we have a new moon in Aries. Aries is all about new beginnings, uh, being adventurous, being spontaneous, and pushing forward. And just before this dance ends, or just as this dance ends, Venus is going to move into Aries in May. Okay, so this new moon in Aries is very significant. And then um, in April, Venus moves into Pisces, and then Mars moves into Pisces the middle of May. And they're starting to, um, there's distance that is being created uh, between the two of them. But just after they are both in Pisces together, we have a full moon in Libra. And Libra is seventh house energy, all about relationships. Libra is also ruled by Venus. Okay, so you have that activation of the Venus through the Taurus energy in the nodes. And now you're going to have this um, activation of that Venus energy through this Libra full moon as well. And this is a manifestation of love, of relationship, of connection. And then right after that, we're going to have a new moon um, solar eclipse in Taurus, stimulating the node, and then a full moon total lunar eclipse in Scorpio on the 16th of May. So from now, when you're watching this all the way through the end of May, there is a major change and transformation taking place inside of you. So for those of you that are just feeling this urge, this motivation to do something, to make a, a major change, to change your um, lifestyle choices, your um, you know health habits with diet, exercise, feeling like you need a glow up physically or spiritually or emotionally, you're going to have this desire of self-improvement to better yourself in some capacity, okay? And that's the reason for that is because you have done the work, you've learned the lessons that have created the way 
for you to evolve into this beautiful change, this evolution, this transformation of you, all right? Who you are right now is not going to be the person you are at the end of May. A lot is going to shift and change in your life, every single person. And then by the end of the year, because you know that the nodes have shifted, so we're all focused on different lessons, different energies, you name it. 2022 is all about new energy and major transformation. And this beautiful dance between Venus and Mars is deeply connected with our soul tribe members, connecting to them, um, aligning to our true love. Okay, so <clears throat> in February, the dance between Mars and Venus and Capricorn is the emperor and the empress finding each other or um, making a solid commitment with another person or great accomplishments in long-term relationships. In March, when Venus and Mars are in Aquarius, this is about new friendships, new connections, getting to know each other, making memories, being very social, very active, okay? And in April, the dance between Mars and Venus and Pisces, this is the awakening of love from deep within the soul. Soul lessons are complete a new soulmate journey begins. So as we, you know, end the month of April and we go into these eclipses, the first one, April 30th, the new moon in Taurus, solar eclipse, that is a great awakening of wisdom. That energy is really going to change you and what you thought you wanted, and it's opening you up to all the new that is meant to come to you. And then the full moon total lunar eclipse in Scorpio on May 16th is the energy to close the door on the past, on all that has been complete, all that has nothing more to offer you. Okay. Um, and this is also a time where, you know, people are going to resurface and return in your life, or you may have a deep desire to return into another person's life. And it's because there are things that have been left unsaid. And, you know, uh, for many of you, this is going to bring about the closure that you have so desperately needed for a long time. And for some of you, this may be a revamping of an old connection and friend, you know, even family member that you've been separated from for a very long time. It's just everybody has this desire to connect, to love, to apologize, to express, to confess things. Okay. And also the sacral chakra is very activated along with the solar plexus chakra, our divine feminine, our divine masculine energies within which makes us assertive, confident, brave, bold, courageous, as well as being very in tune with our emotions, our sensuality, our sexuality. Um, because the sacral chakra is our water chakra and the solar plexus chakra is our fire chakra. Mars and Venus right there. All right, we are all under this influence and new love relationships are going to deeply, deeply connect. But those of you um, where you don't really care so much about love and romance, whatever that calling is within to change something, to revamp something, to try something new, follow that all the way through because that's Mars and Venus activating inside of you. All right, let's pull some cards and go deeper into all these love energies that we are experiencing and that are coming our way.
All right, we are going to start with the Journey of Love Oracle, all right, because, again, we are doing a focus on love, but I also feel like there's this change in yourself, in your life that you've been wanting to make, and I just want to call it a glow up because it's like you have this desire to reach a higher potential than you're currently at, whether it's in your career, in your physical fitness, in your romantic relationship, in friendships, okay? You are all wanting different things, seeking different things, and this dance between Mars and Venus is really making it possible, okay? And these eclipses, shutting out what needs to go, as well as awakening wisdom, and then all these new moons, new opportunities for connections, for new love, for new friends, for new ideas, for new opportunities, new blessings, and the full moons, mm, those are bringing you beautiful manifestations, okay? This is a highly prosperous time, February through April, and it goes into May, but it, it starts to taper off. All right. Okay. Oh, look at this. Yes, I am not surprised. We have it coming together. Mm. This is a union of love. There is love coming, okay? Um, especially those of you who are single because, you know, coming together doesn't have to mean... Um, for those of you that are in long-term relationships or already in commitments, that that's not a beautiful blessing coming to your relationship. It is, okay? It's an expansion. It's an evolution between the two of you taking place, um, accomplishing a long-term goal with each other, going to the next level, Um and however that resonates for you, you know, through February, March, or April. Now, my singles out there, oh my goodness, 2022 is the year for love, okay? It is, um, and I understand this is general, we're all on different paths, so February through April, it, there is either somebody walking into your life and you are going to have a very long-term romance with this person. Or um, February through April is the preparation, the change, the glow up, the shifting uh, required to align you to this person who will come in the months to follow, but will come in 2022. All right, so look at this. Wow, oh, I grabbed two. So we got the life filled is one of them. But what do we have? Ooh, rings of time. So this is number 66. This is 44. Um, rings of time. We've got repeating numbers going on here. Okay, there are cycles that are ending. Um, you are completing a lot of lessons. This here is about divine timing. Um, the union of love, the coming together through divine timing. And you've got the repetition of numbers. That's very synchronistic. Yes. And you know, I just, Spirit says to put this out there. Some of my singles watching this video, you may be 66 years old this year. You may be 44 years old this year. And you're thinking to yourself, you know what? There is no true love for me. You're about to be very surprised, okay? This is the year for love. And now we have the light filled. And look at this. We've got 63. These are higher numbers, okay? 66, 44, 63. Um, we have a 9, an 8, a 12, down to a 3, okay? So um, reducing them down. 9s are where you are on the finale, the completion, okay? Um, this is right here. The life field is an awakening to the connection of all things. So this runs much deeper than just a new um, romantic love or, 
you know, a deepening and elevation of existing connection. This is a love for self, an awakening of love for self, of worth, of value, okay? Um, Mars really encouraging you to no longer settle for less than what you deserve. Venus showing you your worth because um, through this dance of Venus and Mars, you know, there may be a lot of people from your past that are kind of coming back into your world. And this isn't so much for you to have a reconciliation, okay? A lot of this reconnection is for the closure for you, for them, so that you can move on to the next chapter, okay? And that doesn't mean that reconciliations cannot happen during this time, but for a reconciliation to be something with potential and longevity, you both have to have evolved beyond whatever separated you to begin with, okay? And through that evolution, you can't have changed so much that you've grown so far apart from each other, okay? Because oftentimes, when people are separated, especially long term, you know, they're evolving and they're changing and they're growing in separate ways, but it doesn't feel that way because there's still this attachment until they like come back together, spend some time in each other's energy, and then there's like a realization of, you know what, I don't know that you're what I want anymore, okay? So you're going to have a lot of choices, a lot of options around you. And Venus is really trying to show you your worth, your value. And Mars is encouraging you to be assertive, to have boundary, to not revisit painful lessons of the past that you've already completed, okay? So it is time for the past, and the past includes, you know, old heartaches, emotional traumas, being hung up on certain people, certain things, all of that, everything that has prevented you from moving on, moving forward, elevating, expanding, becoming a better version of yourself, you are about to have a big shedding of all of that. And it's going to be your choice. Do you want to move on the new path? Even though it's unfamiliar, it's scary. Or do you want to keep tracking the familiar? It's a choice. We have free will. But now, more than ever, you have the energy, the power, the motivation, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, the planets are direct. The stars are aligned, okay? It is time for love, happiness, joy, abundance. And on top of all of this, it's a period of blessing from above. So you are going to be blessed outside of just, you know, these connections, these romances. And this is also new friends coming into your realm, into your circle, into your life. And these are soul tribe members, okay? There's a big shifting and changing of energy out with the old, in with the new. And, you know, out with the old doesn't have to mean everybody and everything you know has to go. Maybe for some of you, that's exactly what it means. But y you would kind of be desiring that. Like, you're really thirsting for new energy, fresh start, new beginning, new connections, new adventure, okay? Um, but this is, I feel, for you know, the majority of people here, it's a shifting of old energies that just don't fit with this higher version of you that you are emerging into, that Venus and Mars are awakening you to. And with these new moons, there are so many new options, opportunities, new ideas coming your way, as well as blessings through these full moons that by the time you get to the end of May, you are a different person in some capacity, okay? There's a big change happening for each and every one of us. So let's pull a sacral. Wow, we'll see if sacral comes out. Um, I was going to say, let's pull a chakra and see what's going on with the chakras. And I said, let's pull a sacral. Um, that little slip, um, the sacral, divine feminine, your passion, your sensuality, your emotional center, your water chakra, your divine feminine energy is being turned way up 
whether you are male or female it does not matter we all possess a sacral chakra we are going to be very in tune with our feminine energies wanting to be sexy wanting to be sensual wanting to connect wanting to touch wanting to be intimate in so many different ways Ooh. It's a hot time. We have a Leo full moon happening during all of this too. And Leo is hot, hot, hot. Ooh, we got the throat chakra coming through. Wow, this is where we are going to have the courage to express our truth, express ourself. Also, a lot of communication, conversation, new information being received, um, exchanged, all of that over these next three months, okay? Um, and this here is where we normally are inclined to kind of hold back, hide our feelings, keep things close to our chest until we feel it's, it's safe to share. Um, that filter is just kind of gone. People are very immersed in their heart space, very immersed in that sacral chakra. And that's probably why I said it, is because what's happening in the sacral chakra is going to be easily expressed. Expressed by you, expressed by others towards you. Okay, a, a lot of truth, a lot of confession, apology, which brings closure, okay, and maybe for some new beginnings. But a lot of things that have been left unsaid, finally spoken, feelings expressed. Oh, this is beautiful. Knowing your purpose. Beautiful, beautiful energy right there. And we see all the blue here in the rings of time, divine timing. <clears throat> things that, um, you know, should have been said a long time ago, finally being said. Confessions of the heart. Maybe, um, you know, admirers that have been holding feelings back, finally stepping forward. Wow. <laughs> Romantic love. The frequency of romantic love supports our experiences to know ourselves through the reflection of con of a conscious lover. Wow. Yeah, it is time for love, okay? And not just like deepening love, new love, but where we need closure, where we need healing, that's finally coming in, where we need understanding, okay? Long-term connections, Beautiful communication flowing between the two of you. Let's pull up some tarot. Okay, so we've got the ego collapse. Um, this would be the tower. And this is coming um, out under coming together and union. So this is where people are truly coming from their heart space and coming together. You know, family, friends, romance, through your communication, your conversation, the intimacy of any connection. All right, it's not about ego. It's about heart. It's about sacral chakra energy, the divine feminine, truth, honesty, compassion, sensitivity, empathy. The force, look at this, strength. We're all growing stronger through this dance. We're all awakening wisdom, activating inside of us a changing of what we're willing to accept. And you know, 44 would be um, 8. This is card 8. I love that synchronicity right there. And 9 of stars, perseverance. Don't worry so much. Where there has been so much confusion, pain, 
heartache, all of that. This, the field of light, this is coming out under the field of light. This is where you're having that awakening and where we were worried, we were second guessing ourselves. We are letting that go. We are being free. We are allowing our heart and our soul to guide us in what we do and what we say. And there is an allowing of closeness, of intimacy. And there, I mean, just in these decks that, you know, we first worked with, you know, this is the journey of love, but this has a, a lot that entails in that journey. And the cards that came out is, is saying it's time for union, union of true love, but also union of the realization of our connection with all things and it's like the ego is falling away and you're having a moment with the universe and also you're having these moments with people you got romantic love there and expressions and communication coming through this is a beautiful time of healing And I just feel many that have been single and lonely for a long time. You're coming out of that. Let's see, in 2021. I'm sorry, in 2022. Patience and denial. All right, so as I was saying that, these two jumped out. I accept that everything happens in divine order. I acknowledge my fears, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So those of you that have been single for quite some time, um, this has been a process for you where you were open to love for some reason, whether there was some wounds, you know, um, subconscious blocks in your energy field. It's different for each of us, but it is like you were in denial about that and you are awakening to the blocks that you've had around yourself, within your mind, within your heart, okay? And the need for patience is coming to an end, all right? It's the divine timing is upon us. success. I know that there is no greater goal than love. You're going to have success. And I know it feels like a long time coming for some of you. And those of you in long-term relationships, this is a beautiful time of shift and change. Oh my gosh, I did it again where I pulled two. And look at love right there. What do we have? Happiness. Um, and look at all this green heart chakra. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So there's a lot of success happiness and love coming over these next three months i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things all things are connected you know all good things worth waiting for you don't want you know something to come in just easy come easy go right this energy is about something concrete solid stable that you can build on, that you can grow from, okay? And um, whatever you've been going through and working through, you're coming to the end of those soul lessons. And it's time for, like, um, singles to be couples. And, you know, maybe for some um, who have been coupled up for a long time and your relationship hasn't been feeling right, this is the time where you're going to decide to become single once again. Okay, it's it's truly what each of us are experiencing and going through is different, but it's all based around love and connection and intimacy, all right, and change for better of self in some area of life. And it's like new love is so blessed. Oh, falling in love happens quicker too. Because these are people that are supposed to be in your life for the next legs on your journey. Wow, we've got the chariot. The fool, love it. Nine of swords. You got the nine of swords twice here. Because that's what the nine of stars is in that deck. Nine of cups. Ace of pentacles. And the sun. Okay. Wow, 
I was just going to say maybe you, some of you are traveling or this person um, maybe lives at a distance from you and the world was the very next card because we have the chariot. But we'll bring the world out because we have the, the fool and the world here. It is the completion of the old, old cycles, old relationships, old energies, um, old heartbreaks, heartaches, old lessons, you name it. All the old it's coming to an end. So each and every one of you are going to see a lot of shifting and changes in your life. And you may start seeing this in other areas that don't pertain to love. But know as these changes are happening, it is going to be connected to your love, your romance, your friendships. If there's some sort of changing and shifting that must take place. All things are connected. Okay, because here's the start of the new and um, great success. We got success already right there, but great success in anything new, any new adventure, new job, new career path, um, new uh, changes in lifestyle, in eating, in exercise, new relationships, new friendships, new romance, all of it. It's blessed if it's new. It's blessed, okay? And you're going to feel a little worried, a little insecure, like this is too good to be true. Are you kidding me? And the Spirit's like, no, no, my child, this is not too good to be true. This is what you've hoped for. This is what you've wished for. This is a time of blessing the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Sun. This is a time where somebody is coming in offering a commitment, okay? offering something long term and this is where you know we feel in love and everything feels so good and happy and passionate and oh it's like magic it's like a dream okay um don't freak out around the shifts the changes taking place in your life in your reality it's all preparing you for greater love greater love and joy of life in general greater love of self greater love of friends, greater love uh, for romance, whether existing, new, or new, okay? This is just what's happening for these next three months. And, you know, with the sun um, coming out here, these eclipses that we have on the 30th and the 16th, the 30th of April and the 16th of May, that really seals, like, the old to be just gone, it, no longer haunting you, no longer bothering you, no longer hurting you, no longer worrying you. It is truly a time for you to be happy and finding joy in all these new things and new people and new activities. And um, these eclipses are instrumental for you guys, okay? Um, you're just... You don't think that things are going to change or that you're going to feel different, but you really, really are. And I do see like new love that happens very quickly for some of you. So let's look at that in deeper. Those of you where this is new romance coming into your life. And you know, this could even be where you've just been kind of talking to somebody. All right. Just flirting, whatever. And now because of this dance between Mars and Venus, all of a sudden you both are feeling very serious about each other. And it might take you both by surprise a bit, okay? Because it's like you, people are going to feel helpless to these energies. You're not typically a super uh, schmoopy, soft, uh, romantic, affectionate person. Uh, just watch out. You might find yourself in that mode. Um, Ten of Trees, that's the Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. We've got loyalty for new love coming in. Six of Hearts, the past. Okay, so for some of you, this love um, is somebody you've known from, you know, long ago. Or, again, that energy of somebody that's just kind of like you've been talking to or just kind of dating, nothing serious. Um, there's some sort of uh, attachment to the past here for some of you, all right? And I know this is general, so that's, you know, just take that, this message of the past with a grain of salt because um, 
I do feel so much new energy, but you know, that could be new energy in an old relationship. But remember, this person will have to have evolved as well. Three of trees, dedication, three of pentacles. Wow, see, commitment. Two of stars, boldness. Um, this is where we're laying down the swords, laying down the barrier, the wall. We're really letting somebody in. Somebody's really letting you in. Okay, new romance or friendship. This is intense bonding right here. And the sun, vitality. So you got the sun twice. New love is so, so blessed. Some of you, this new love is somebody that does return to your life from the past. But they are a new person, okay? And you'll know. And I just, be cautious with that. Because with this dance, like I said, a lot. I feel a lot of people from the past are going to be resurfacing in your life. The one that's going to offer the loyalty, the dedication, the stability, bring the sun into your world, is the one who's truly evolved. And you'll know that they've evolved by what they're saying, what they're doing, okay? It's like they're not playing games. They're honest. They're straightforward. They're putting it all out there, okay? And they're not holding back, and they're not being shady, or sketchy, none of that. All right, you're going to just pick up um, very honest vibes in what they're saying and what they're offering. And if that's not what you feel, then that's not the one that's going to offer stability because this dance between Mars and Venus is going to stir up the heart space of everybody that has emotion for you. Friend, family, ex-romance, current romance, um, somebody you just barely met or somebody that uh, is about to come into your world. Okay, they're going to feel you stronger than typical, as well as you're going to feel people stronger than typical. And so there's going to be desire to communicate. And again, for a lot of us, this desire of past energies coming back in for communication is really to bring a sense of clarity and closure to close that chapter so that new love because look at we got the fool and the ace of pentacles here so that new love can come in all right um so just be very cautious in filling out somebody's energy um of the past that's coming into your life all right because there are just a lot of people are going to be feeling you thinking about you vice versa. And I just, you know, it will be natural to your soul. You'll you'll know um, closure. This is closure. Especially if you do meet somebody new because this new person is just going to sweep you off your feet. Okay. A lot of wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment during this time period as well. So we have this beautiful dove, the Holy Spirit. <gasps> Look at that. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So it's all about new beginnings, okay? With new person or a fresh start with somebody who has evolved. Here's the next card. Only time will tell. Wow, some of you are going to be... Pretty shocked. Next card. And it says, Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear. If you want it to be, wow. Yeah, see, some of you, this person, or these people coming back, is so you can get over that because there's this amazing love coming in. Okay? Or, if those vibes are right and they've evolved... It's freedom from the past, whatever happened there. All right, here's this beautiful image. Beware of what you are projecting, for the qualities you admire in another are the qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Now, I agree with this, and I don't agree with this. Because, <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of times where we... Uh, get involved with somebody who's mean and nasty and a horrible person, right? 
and you're not a mean, nasty, horrible person to other people. So I want to clarify this message a little deeper um, because sometimes the way that we treat ourselves, if we're really kind of mean to ourselves and the things we think and feel about ourselves, other people and their bad behavior are a mirror of that. So if you are prone to doing that, Spirit's saying, don't beat yourself up. Be good to yourself. Love yourself. Be kind to yourself. And the people who come around you will project that to you. Okay? Just as these wonderful qualities in others that you admire and you enjoy, there's a vibe, there's an essence, there's an energy of you where that also exists. Okay? So that's beautiful. All is a mirror. But realize when you know something crazy is happening and it's nothing that you would ever do to another person you really need to evaluate how you treat yourself and what you say to yourself and the way that you take care of yourself and the way that you love yourself okay so you're going to have deep clarity and healing on the past in many different ways it's time for new energy new beginnings fresh starts it is the year for love for falling in love, elevating love, going to the next level in love, my long-term singles, it is time for you to find your match and align with your soulmate, all right? So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.